morning. Welcome to Tuesday. It's Pancake Day. And welcome to the vlog. So, I am just on a building site getting tipped what roof tiles on. Get out and show you that in a second. Uh, I just thought I'd start to get the video started. Uh, for some reason, my gimbal app is not working right. So, I'll see if I can sort that out. Back to you in a minute. Believe it or not, it's not Vix today. We have got roof tiles. Here come the flame on the telly angler. Playing with my gimbal, so I'll see if any of that's usable and put that in. I've just been tipping uh, in Micklefield with some roof tiles. One of the worst things in the world to carry because even from the factory, because they're stacked like that and then like that, they go like that, they go like that, and yeah, it's just awful. Luckily, they haven't gone far. Literally about four and a half miles uh, from site to site just to get that site finished off. I'm um, now heading back out to the Galvanizers in Manchester. Well, let's say Manchester, it's actually Rochdale. Uh, pick up the load I dropped off last week on the snow day. Uh, take that back to Edmund Wyke. Can I get in Edmund Wyke? Edmund Wyke, yeah. Uh, tip and reload there and then back to the yard. And that is today done. Uh, nothing much happening this week, just local jobs. Generally, uh, got Robin going over to Ireland with a kiosk. Uh, little Danny's going with him for the second man. It's 3.7 mile, uh, 3.7 wide, so he needs an attendant or an escort vehicle. And he ain't sending an escort vehicle to Ireland. I can guarantee you that. So they'll double man it. Get a ferry to. Did they get the ferry tonight? No, tomorrow. What getting ferry tomorrow? I don't know which. Getting ferry. They're going this week. Going back Friday. Uh, Anton, the new flat driver, him and Daz are going to Germany via London. Uh, but supposed to take down uh, reload in London at the place that makes the sculptures. What well, place that's made these sculptures that they're taking over. Take them over. Germany. Tip. Reload. And bring some back. I believe. I don't get that, that sort of work. One, I don't want it. I don't want to do your up, really. Two, my wagon's too tall to go in the tunnel and that's the cheapest way. So they get the Euro tunnel over and then they are getting the ferry back to Hull on Friday.
leave you there for a bit. Four minutes, I'll do. Catch you, catch you later. Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday, Wednesday. Today I've just done a trailer swap with the boss, with Daz. I'm taking his big trailer back to the yard. Brought him down a Euro liner because he's going to Germany. That is a 115 ton metre fassy. Capable of doing about 26 ton at the back of the wagon. So I've got to run back up from where are we? Hing it, down in Hinkley, back to the yard, get loaded, pinch some gear off the trailer, like one of them sheets up there, that little one, and the chains, and go load for the morning. Good afternoon. Just about to leave. It does now? Wow, this is heavy. Waterfield Way, then at the 
end so of I've the now got the turn right. big trailer on with the big fussy crane on the back of it and yeah you know how it trust me so I'm just gonna head back up to the yard should be there for about half three about which time two of the collections are gonna be shook but one of them is gonna have to be shook the other one I don't know Turn right, Sketchley Meadows. Um, my 540 and that 660, there's a hell of a difference between them. Might only seem like a small number, but when you put in this trailer, it's a big difference. After 0 0.2 miles, go left on the roundabout and take uh, the first exit. Now I've got issues because towards Milton Keynes. Um, you can't get the trailer below four meters, which is the limit for the Euro Tunnel, which is where he's meant to be heading for. Well, meant to be heading to London to load up with some artwork to go out to Germany, but you can't get the trailer low enough. Ooh. Where have we heard that issue before? Yeah, we won't, won't be, we won't be snide on that one. Go left Allowing, on the roundabout and take the first exit, A5, towards Milton Keynes. Um, so, we've got to come up with another plan. Probably get the ferry, which is more expensive. There's two of them. You're going to have fun down here tomorrow, Paul. In Chertsey. I'm not even unloaded yet. I've, I've been here two hours. I'll get back to him in a minute. Whoa. So, yeah. Get back up, see what we can do about getting loaded. And then we'll get where we can get to tonight. If we, if we can get both loads on, I think I'll be lucky. So, I'll catch you in a bit.
morning, Thursday. Just got down to Colnebrook, just off the M4, M25, with this big monster transformer. Probably not that big to be fair, but well, it's not compared to the ones that you see like Colette's and Ale doing. But it's big enough for us, 15 foot 9. As you can see, I've already started unchaining, got one chain off the back, one chain off the front. Ready to go around the corner to where the crane is. And then over to Reading to pick up some washing machines. Start catching a bit. Morning again. So I've just uh, popped out the Riverside Cafe down on the A4. After 0.2 miles, turn right uh, A4. Just London a little Road. bit of footage from me tipping my transformer. The big old beast that it was. Uh, then we are going, now we're going to uh, Newbury to pick up some washing machine equipment. Uh, four dry cleaners and an ironer, apparently. Uh, she's going to probably fill up the trailer. So glad I chained that on. It was very, very heavy. 12 ton lump. It's not very, very heavy, but in one piece. Uh, Chris brought it back strapped up in his head like. Turn right, A4, London Road. Oh, it fell unsecure. So the forge here had done it made a massive difference. Nice to work with Steve Foster Crane Hire again. Seeing them quite a bit lately. Uh, they weren't didn't have the crane this time but they did have their higher volume and their higher track units the and take uh, the second exit two containers, M4 towards the west which they've done that first uh, and then they're just doing the install on the transformer with central power I really need to clean my mirrors and take the again. second exit I can also do a cleaning cap as well I need to my new gloves out I keep forgetting to get new gloves out and one's got all of me pointer finger holding it all the way down and the other pair has got a split in the thumb, crevice, gap, web, whatever. So I need to get some new gloves out. Nice food at the Riverside Cafe. Unfortunately the staff are a little bit dense. All I wanted was a bacon sausage exit, sandwich with M4. extra hash brown, then extra beans, extra away. cheese, and I couldn't figure that out. Like, it's a breakfast buddy, basically. Minus the egg. So I don't, I don't understand what was so hard about it. I get it all the time, even that on my SBLT, sausage bacon, lettuce and tomato. That's the other go-to sandwich. But it tasted good and it wasn't overly well. It was more expensive than I would have liked to pay than I do, do pay other, other places. But I am down near London, so what do you expect? Uh, so now back on the M4. Uh, 37 mile on here, 42 miles total to go. I'm not going to do loads of time lapse because quite frankly I find it boring. I'd rather try and get the loading and unloading footage. It's a bit different to what you see on other vlogs. Yes, if I get somewhere where it's tight or awkward then yeah that's great footage. That makes some great videos. But I don't bloody whinge about it either. There's one either TikTok or YouTube, I think he does both. It's all POV, cat and POV. I just constantly complain about it being tight. It's like 
mate. You put in a 45 foot curtain cider. Try pulling a 45 foot flat with a four and a half metre cabin on the back of it. Going down the exact same roads. Down to well tighter roads but that wouldn't run down to Cornwall that. I wouldn't want too bad it was all dual carriageway of it pretty much to the end. Uh, the other ones that bump with the high up did. Uh, he's on TikTok and with the high up. And Anton. Theirs was 19 miles of single carriageway and or less than single carriageway roads. At some point they were having to go a couple of miles up the road and block it off just so they could do a couple of miles up the road before letting traffic through again. It took them about two hours to do 19 miles, I think it did. Anywho, five minutes of me talking, that's more than enough. So, I'll catch you in a bit. I'll do you a little bit of time lapse, but I'm not loud. I left it on way too long yesterday, ended up deleting half the footage. Ooh, so I'll catch you in a bit. Morning, it's Friday! Uh, so after I sheeted up last night, had a decent night's kip, nice bit of food, as always from Max's Pizza at Diddington, big shout out. Cheesy chips and beans, stuffed crust Hawaiian pizza. For about 21 quid. And I've still got three quarters of a pizza for today. Uh, so, come over to Doncaster, to, uh, at Bentley in Doncaster today, picked up seven packs of roof tiles, which are on the back of the trailer. Not ideal, having all the weight at the back of the trailer now. Uh, should have been nine packs, but you only had seven in stock, so seven it is. And I probably would have got nine on it anyway. After 900 feet, go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A638 Just York Road. Grim back down into Doncaster, uh, do a UA, head out to the A1. And I'm going to get stuck in traffic because there's still roadworks at Dinnington. Oh, there's nothing we can do about that. A minute. Really dry mouth this morning. So up to Bowbridge we go with the tiles, with roof tiles. Uh, back down to Castleford for three pallets, I think it is. Again, we'll go on the go back right of the trailer. on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A638 then, York Road. Uh, take them back to the yard and then go down to Dewsbury to deliver the washing machines that I picked up yesterday. So those washing machines are going from Newbury to Doncaster to Burbridge to Morley to Dewsbury final destination. Fun, isn't it? <laughs> They're going for a merry old ride around the country. Well, certainly the middle third of it, at least. The 
Newbury, if you don't know, is near Reading, which is sort of the bottom end of the Midlands on the west side. Burbridge is pushing towards the top part, part of the Midlands. Well, no, this is where we'll be all up north that way in Yorkshire. It's north. It's north Yorkshire. Getting a bit of wheel spin. Take the exit, A638, your the road. so I could probably fill up tonight. I don't want to go around all yeah, fill up tonight. No, I fill up. If I see somewhere convenient, I'll fill up. I don't, I don't plan it. The local shell goes to the yard. Really don't like it. It's good in one way, you don't have to take your card in first, just fuel up and then go in and pay. But the man behind the counter is always on his mobile phone. Always. Talking his own language, but he's paying more attention to the phone calls than he is to his customers, which I just find is very, very rude. It must be the owner, because no one else can get away with that. I don't go up to a counter and, and to pay for something or order something on the phone because it's rude. Anyway, rant over. I'll catch you in a bit.
Job number two complete. So, right, come out of Boyerbridge, back down to Castleford, pick up job number two. Sorry, part two done of job one, tipped. Go down to job number two, collect that, take that back to Marley. a bit better to have that weight off the back end. It's a bit different to that since the last time I was on that site, it was pretty much just a quagmire then. Brand new site. Now it's last few plots getting completed. And then the uh, that's, that's, yeah, groundwork to finish, paving, gardening, etc. Oh, I've not put the postcode in for the next job. I know where it is. Been there before. Used to work that card from it. Thanks for watching, uh, please like, follow, subscribe, I'll catch you next week.